about that out for size. At least it's not cyclones. One, two, close that one off. That can go, that can go. Might be able to get. Oh, that's right. The, the sunken treasures aren't actually where they appear, are they? If I can do a sunken treasure or two, it should level the ship up a little bit. Uh, we want to do that one. Just want to be able to see the numbers. Health and Luke, same again. Concurrent users. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Broadsider has another level. They get this thing to go faster. I weighed it down way too much. Why can't I see the island yet? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Actually, if I. Ooh, there's one over there. Go and do that in a sec. What I need. I've got way too many of them. Oh, I have to be anchored. Damn it. Alright. We'll go and visit the island. I want this thing first. I gotta send my gamma back down. I need 4.4, but that's fine. I only want it for levels. Full close, we want gamma back to normal. This ship is such a pain to walk on. Yeah, pretty sure I can't access that. Yeah, have to be anchored. Equip. <sighs> I have to 
we get a bit of layout for the desk. So it doesn't really interfere with everything. Get journeyman stuff. Not that I really want to loot anyway. That should, in theory, give my ship levels. <laughs> Unless it cut to the level. No. Weird. Alright. I thought that was meant to give experience to the ship. Maybe it's delayed. Uh, I didn't make a bookshelf or a smithy for my ship. That's not so good. Hmm. A little bit of an oversight. Yes, yeah, good, Billy. How are you? Check all that away. Uh, open it. Right now, we want to go the other way. Yes, well, I've just built myself a another broadside, eh? which I'm going to be using just for speeding around the map. One of our guys had the uh, they had a legendary broadsider just despawn on them. Was, oh, that's right. He um he parked at the free port for too long. He was there for 24 hours and it uh, fast decayed his ship. So I gave him my one, which was a masterwork version very similar to what he had already and so I made this one which is full of um, ballasters so I should be able to take this whaling my only problem is now that I've loaded them um, loaded up with grenades and apparently the munitions box doesn't reduce the weight of grenades which is a little bit odd so this is currently carried overweight by a huge amount but it's carrying 3,000 kilograms worth of grenades <laughs> Just need to park and I'm going to see if grenades uh, have a weight reduction in the cargo rack. Uh, 13 knots. It's actually, um, the, the brig that I have at the moment, and I guess the galleon to some extent, depending on your sails, it travels at 12 knots. If I can get this under 50% weight, it should get closer to about 20 knots. I think it should go ridiculously fast. But yeah, for what it is, I mean, the thing's nearly capacity on its weight, and, um, it's still going 13 knots. Just tells you how fast these ships really are. Mind you, we should be getting a patch, I guess, nine days from now. They were saying the 9th of March is the expected uh, patch date, and that should have some fixes for the modular ships. Or at least some adjustments to them. Right, anchor down. Yeah, 
You. Shut up and sit down. Ronan, thanks for the subscription. I always wonder whether people, when they subscribe like that, is that the people watching the stream, or is that people who just subscribe to the channel watching a different video? And it just picks up that somebody subscribed. I've always been curious about that. Uh, the kicking of the Xbox issues, my understanding is, at the very least, uh, this patch will be uh, if you're getting kicked out when you're traveling near Golden Age Ruins. That one's supposed to be definitely in, but for the rest I'm not sure. Okay. Non-modified weight is a thousand and it's saying that in there is 200. Oh yeah, that reduced it by a lot. Nice. Uh, my chat thing saying that it's two concurrent viewers, but it's quite possible that the other one is uh, me. So I tend to watch the stream as well just to monitor the health via um, the management tools. Too many. Oh, I suspect that what happens is, um, oh, is that full now? Damn, I need more cargo racks. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've always just suspected that um, people who subscribe while I'm watching while I'm watching the stream don't necessarily have to be watching the stream. I actually think that they could be uh, watching one of my other videos and decide to subscribe. The alert just happens when somebody clicks the link, not necessarily that they're watching. Well, that shaved a thousand weight off. Yeah, that's good. Still not quite what I wanted. I'll have to uh, work out some other stuff. Alright, we want... Slightly north northwest, I guess. Uh, well, it's not particularly necessary. <laughs> Get to see some uh, flying broadside action in the rain. It's actually sitting pretty good in the water at the moment. Normally they sit pretty terrible, but uh, it's quite high, but it's actually staying in the water. Oh, there we go, slightly floating. But yeah, by taking a thousand weight off, it's, um, I guess it's really a high wind now as well, but it's now travelling 15 knots instead of 13. And the wind is actually quite bad. Like I'm not in the full green. Broadside a level. Just keep pushing some more extra weight until I have a chance to sort out my grenades. A bit of extra boost of speed there. Alright. Yeah, what's that? If that wind keeps turning and I get full green on the sails, 
up to 16 knots at the moment. Shut up and sit down. Okay, subscription just rock back in. Alright, let's get to that one. It was... Is it a volume mixer? No. Nope. There was one where I should be able to... That one... Is it the auxiliary? I think it's that one. Yeah. Okay. I remember how to use all this bloody stuff now. Uh, so that will go to there, which doesn't go into the recording. Not that I'm sorry, she got a recording at the moment. So you subbed while watching another one of my videos and then came back. Okay. Well, it was quite delayed in terms of the notification, but um, yeah, I guess that tells you it. Now the question is, after just fiddling with all that sound, uh, can you hear the music? I think it's being outputted to the right channel. It's hard to see basically using this soundboard at the moment to uh, work stuff out. Uh, it's what have we got? It's coming through the auxiliary. It should be going to my headset. Whether it goes to the stream or not is the other question. Yeah, it's, um, it's a weird thing, this one. Uh, B2 is um, my recording channel for my main sound. Oh, no, that's the microphone. So B2 is the microphone recording. B1 is the physical sound recording from the computer. Uh, A1 is my desktop speakers, and A2 is my headset speakers. Uh, and, yeah, what should end up happening is that I've set the voice meter auxiliary is where the music's coming through, but it's not set to any recording channel. So if I was to start recording now, the music wouldn't actually be included. So yeah, some weird stuff that you can do with it. So yeah, you get to enjoy music without it actually interfering with any recording that I may do later on. It's, uh, it's good. <laughs> this thing's got absolutely no resistance. If he gets hit, it's dead. desync over and that one you the uh, sunken treasure there you watch the sunken treasure rise out of the water it's 
floating above the water itself. I'm surprised my desync isn't so bad. Oh, oh there it is. I've got a submarine. <laughs> Alright, we are there. Okay. So I know that there's a Hydra there. So I could go and kill that Hydra. And then the Power Stone is just there. Wow, oh, look at that. Flying ship. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Get just the right angle, you can see everything. Maybe I can kill a uh, Gorgon. And that'll give the ship a heap of levels. Now you sailed many miles underwater? Yes. <laughs> nice. It's one of those things, the desync has been really bad for me lately. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing the servers need to be restarted to clear something out, I'm guessing. the land. Whee! <laughs> I love it how it just jumps up into the air. It's like it's forgotten what the intensity of the water is. I can't see anything. Cave is there. There was a heap of gorgons here last time. Maybe they're there still. Let's go find out. Hey, there's a Gorgon. I see you. What have I got? I've got 200 ballisters at the moment. I think 200 would be able to kill one, right? Although I suppose it'll probably knock things off the, uh, the ballisters. Help. Oh. Fairly certain that hit. Oh, there we go. Kill the Gorgon. What do 
you gonna do under the ship, Gorgon? How many levels? Just one. Oh well. <laughs> so I think it'd be a bit more than that. Apparently when you kill Cyclopses, you get a lot of XP. Turn just enough. There we go. Done. That's weird. It's like it's staggering. Ah, uh, we should do that. Power stones in Freeport Islands. Oh yeah, yeah. So the Power Stone Islands, as I was saying, is one of the ones that they have a fix for in the next patch. So you should be able to go to Power Stone Islands. Um, at least that's what Redbeard was saying. Uh, as far as other ones, not entirely certain. What said two people were off? Yeah, they're still staggering. Oh, yeah. Use the turret. Use the turret. Done. Another. It's only one level. Yeah. So Gorgons didn't, didn't give that much experience in the end. I'll we'll start putting some in resistance. Uh, yeah. Well, whether it breaks more or not, that uh, remains to be seen. They haven't had a very good track record with that one. I get that a lot of it's uh, not anticipated on their part, so you can't really uh, pick on them too much. But yes, every uh, every release seems to have something not quite right in there. And it's usually server related. Um, I know the last couple of patches they've had to hand it over to what they call their um, this engineering team. I think it was engineering. But yeah, it's server issues rather than the code issues. Someone parked over there. Actually, looks like maybe a tramp freighter. Those tramp freighters go ridiculously fast. Well, that looks like it might have wings on the back there, so maybe that's actually a schooner. Harvesting gets more XP. Okay. Maybe when I park up here to see if the uh, Hydra's still in the same spot, I can kill another Gorgon. Unfortunately, I don't really want to take on any fire elementals. Because they're nasty. Alright. 
This is where it was last time. I guess there's no guarantee it's going to be there again. There's a razor tooth up there. This broadsider needs to be able to turn faster. That's the one thing I guess I'm waiting for is um, the improved handling that they might be putting into the ships. So at the moment that's one of the killers. These ships don't turn good enough. And then uh, I believe the Tramp Freighter is getting sorted for speed. It has a times five multiplier on it at the moment. And um, what's the other one? Uh, the mortar ship. They're uh, reducing the number of sails that it can have. Mainly because in PvP the uh, the mortars are pretty much dominating everything. Can anchor, nice. Done. For them. Uh, get rid of that, we'll have the crappy one. Now the question is, did I bring... Uh, I didn't bring any pistol ammo. That's right. I'll uh, have to make some eventually. I don't need those in. thing that I don't have is climbing picks. Alright, we need some harvesting tools. And I only brought my good tools. That's not good. Well, I need a little bit. I need some flint basically. Stay over there. Only level 150 uh, armies of the damned over there. Spiders. Alright. I saw some fibre in there. Yeah, a fair bit of fibre. Good. Uh, oh, hide. Oh, yeah, I do have hide. Phew. Extra stone. Okay. And uh, then I needed some climbing pick for the hide metal wood. Fiber hide metal wood. Two of them. 
then I think it's simple bullet. I don't have any gunpowder. That requires a bit more of a challenge than I'm willing to do right now. Just needed. What a crafter too. Yeah, one's good enough. Something to shoot with, something to climb with. Have I got a crappy grapple? No, I'll just take that one with us. Alright, where are we going? Kinda wanna get up to that one, but that one looks like a nasty climb. That one will be easier. Oh, that's a Gorgon. <laughs> was not expecting that. That's alright. Keep an eye on the surroundings. There is no Hydra here. Hmm. Trying to remember the other spawn points. Right. So we'll go back to the ship. I'll grab some grenades while I'm there. Always nice gliding around. Alright, spawn points. Who are you? D8 grid. There's two spawn points in the city and then two across the island. So we can always check the other city spawn point. Yeah, we should have actually seen that on the way through. Um, Alright, we're 
We might as well go to the other island because it's the one I want to go to anyway. I want to go northwest, I think. Ish. Galleon, full handling. Looks like they got full cannons as well. They're probably here hunting ships of the damned. No, I'm going north. I need to turn more. Better, but the wind is terrible. Just trying to pull itself out of its socket. Hmm. Could take a slightly northern thing and tack back. Come up that way. It actually looks almost reasonable when it actually is in half in the water like that. So when the water is actually covering all of the rowing modules. Oh, hang on, we're flying now. <laughs> but yeah, when it covers the modules, uh, it actually looks like it's the right height in the water. But you know, physics defying is uh, definitely a uh, thing. Big ear that time. <laughs> yeah, I, I see it all. Yeah, it it thinks that the wind intensity is different. So it basically, it's actually riding a wave that we can't see. Which is the desync that they talk about. Mm. 
Is that the ruins there? It looks like a ruin. Let's go and have a look. Attack hard. Swing to the other side. Did the flying galleon ever make it? I don't think so. I don't remember any flying things. Uh, there are tanks and planes in the code, yes. Um, yeah. Whoa, that was a massive air. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the original idea was supposed to have those in there. Uh, but at this stage, I don't know if we'll see them. It sounds way too broken for them to introduce that for the PvP side of things. Um, but it would fit quite well into the the dirty industrial thing that they're planning on bringing in. Because, yeah, we're supposed to have um, almost like your Stormpunk industrial, the Atlantean and the Armies of the Damned themes. One of those three. It almost seems like they could create factions, although they've said that they won't make factions. It's got to be sandbox PvP. It can't be an MMO. Yeah, so at the moment they already have the the things in there. Um, so you have this industrial generator, and it's one of the sea forts. Um, so when in PvP, when you claim the the sea forts, you can put down an industrial generator and get buffs. And then there should be the Atlantean Spire. Again, you get buffs in the sea fortresses, and it was the. Uh, damned pylon. And so the, the PvP people can pick and choose which. That's not good. Turn. They can choose what buffs that they want. Looks like the ships of the damned are having um, sink issues over there as well. We can't take a hit here. Oh, it's got me. Don't you dare hit. Good viewer. Once I get full wind. Ah, uh, I've seen a bit. Don't play PvP. Yeah, I don't play PvP either. In this game, I find that the amount of time that I have to spend. Uh, isn't worth losing it. If I played more, then it probably would be alright. Uh, more s resistance. <laughs> Ship the dam getting air in the background there. Wind is so bad. Oh. Hopefully, I thought I could see a spire there before. I can't anymore. But it does say that there is a spawn point. On this little map that I'm looking at. Um, there's a spawn point here. There's a spawn point there. It looks like there's one there and one there. The cave itself is in that little inlet. But where are the ruins? I think the ruins were on the left hand side of the island. It might have been there. Wait, not until I get there, I guess.
Hey, there's one of the buildings. Let's get him right up. See that depth there, that's really quite nice where the water's right up near the above the um the rowing modules. Just looks right. That can give the ship a bit of a curve in the middle, so there's not a straight pencil-like shape. Creatures. I need to kill a creature for some hide. Nice. Can park. All right. What do we got? Ooh, tiger. Tag it. Hang on. Can't even see it now. I feel like I killed it. Should invest the points to get lucky loader as well. Alright. Hatchet. Have I got a crappy hatchet? No. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that means the dam spawned. No. Going down, they are nice.
song does not suit the location. <laughs> Alright. Good. I suppose I have a fair way to go inland before I'm certain that it's not here. Now, I said it in my last video, it's very satisfying to kill leather wings. Just one hit in the head, and it's done. Alright, let's get up. Yeah, I'll leave that on. Thanks for uh, joining in once again. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to find the, uh, the Rotten Hydra for this stream. It took me ages to find the last one, but it's all part of it. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your uh, day. See anything that looks like a hydra? Need more height though. Could keep climbing this one. That's the thing I just killed. Hmm. Gonna get attacked by a leathering. That's over there. I don't think there's a hydra here. We're there on the map. My thing was saying, yeah, it's about here. There's more that way. So is it behind there maybe? There's bats there that I probably want to avoid.
Okay. Nothing clear. Nope, no hydra. Um, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Right, so we can go back to this ship. The other spot is over there. There's a spot there and a spot there on the green. Nice little lake over there by the looks of it. Ah, gliding is so much fun. Alright, get under. We want to. Actually, I don't have a fireplace. Um, how much salt do I have? Uh, only 500 salt. Now, oh. meat's going in as is. Resource box. A little bit more hide. Got a little bit of that. Um, I need to repair this carbine. Alloy flint. Did I grab the extra oil? I didn't. Right. Stuck with it how it is for the time being. Come on, turn. Oh, I still got my uh, sextant buff. That's nice. Next spot is just off the side of that light green spot. Right. Right, music back again. Right, been looking for a north westerly ish entrance. 
I'm gonna go straight north. Well, that could be there. Is that the right spot? Yes, it is. Nice. And it parked nicely. Very good. Uh, gamma back to standard. Oh yeah, I think I remember this one. There's a couple of spots up on the wall, if I remember correctly, that I can utilize. With the glider suit and the climbing picks. Damned. Just ignore them. Just won't ignore a leather wing. Come on, land. Height, can't see anything bad yet. Reset that view, reset that view. There we go. Right, oh, ooh, didn't realize that I was uh, come on, can't dig for water. I am just about out of water, which is not so good. I don't know if I actually brought a uh, barrel either. I don't have a water barrel. Gonna be uh, digging for water. Alright, so this should be near the spot. Yeah, so it's actually off to the left there is its spawn spot. It's too uh, dusty, I can't really see. I'll get some water out of the ground. So the water riches. Here. <sighs> oh, 
Right, leather and keratin. Nice. Back to the ship we go. We'll try the other spots. Um, can I even make a water barrel? That's actually probably the next question. I do need to set one up. Otherwise I'm going to uh, struggle with this. Fibre keratin metal wood. Fibre keratin wood. get a fire going cook some stuff or I could get a mortar and pestle and see if I can find some salt right these things need to be placed Things to interfere my running with. Done. Mm, Fish. Don't I bring fish? Oh, that was an oversight. Um. Let's go see if there's some salt on the land. Looks like I'm going to be doing uh, what I thought. Scorpions. Oh no, that looks like salt. I could just do the death reset then. Yes, I know it hurts. Come on, let's go get killed by a scorpion. We might kill a fish once I've recovered. Can't see much in the way of salt here, is he? Here, yeah, regular rocks. Oh, 129 score.
And vitals reset. Okay, we want climbing pick, hatchet, grapple, gun, hooks, basic armor, and a gliding suit. Ah, there's the fish. I don't have to kill any after all. Alright, on to the next checkpoint. side of the island. The next one is that light green patch there, just there. I wonder if I can actually get through up here. It's probably a bit of a climb. I do need to go all the way around just in case I guess. Come from that angle and then I've got to check the other side as well. And the power stone is there. Might even get a sneak peek of the uh, the indicator. And the fire elemental. But yeah, just beyond that uh, crashed boat. Slightly around to the left will be the uh, entrance to the cave. So we park on the point of the rock here, if I can, and we go inland exploring again. Probably actually climb that rock. Might give us a top-down view of the whole area, actually. Probably work out really good. I don't run into any fire elementals or anything like that. is whether it lets me park here or not. Depth is 29. It's probably not deep enough. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Um... Head over to uh, that one over there and fly back. We've got to climb up the top of that. Ooh. Stop. One full tilt into the bloody island. Done. All right. Uh, I'd like my gear to actually be repaired. Is the problem? Are there any salts? There's a croc. A tiger. No, no salt. So, to 
to repair this, I needed oil. Okay, oil, I can do oil. Half of that. What's this song? Sounds like oh, it's Dream Lagoon. All right. Wicked Things, Buckeye Bonanza, Sonic Pogo. Okay, last three songs would be pretty good. Um, right. Chuck you in for repairs. Go in, go in. Alloy flint hardwood. Alloy. Do I not have any flint? Oh, I do. Yeah, flint hardwood. Fibre metal. Metal. Yeah, they all look pretty good. Sorted. So bullets we have. Well, come on. Okay, two spawn points. Uh, what's going to be the best course of action here? It's pretty much directly south, isn't it? It's on that green field, and then there. So if I go up on top of that rock and look down, that's a bloody tall rock. Hmm. Right. Nothing else for it then, I guess. We've only got 40 minutes left. Let's hope it's here. Okay, there's another rock there. It's not as tall. Some honey there, by the looks of it. Not that I need any honey right now. Gosh, that's a very tall rock. Kind of glad I didn't climb up it. That's it, isn't it? Yes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough stamina to climb up here. Come on. Oh, we got a rest stop. Nice. Oh, hang on, I don't have my granadas with me. I don't. Okay. Doesn't matter. We know it's here. That's brilliant. Oh yeah. Grab a few extra mini balls. And then oh, that was the same one. Yes, that one. So just a few grenades. What? Oh, game. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Got a heat wave too. Really? Of 
Glide, glide, glide. Come on. You can ever so slightly go up with these gliders, but it's a slow process. Nice. Get my stand back. Keep an eye out for leather wings. Gonna let me use it. Oh, good thing I got climbing picks. A lot of trees here. Hopefully, it's a clear view down to the creature. I need to switch the music up too. Hey, there it is. All right. Of course, it's getting dark. Just when I wanted to fight it. You can barely see it, can't you? Oh, it's there. The question is, when it walks this direction, how tall is it compared to my location? I don't want it to actually be able to reach me. Right, start the recording. We'll find out whether or not the uh, grenades actually work. That's a long throw. Don't think that hit it though. That, however, did. Ooh, cranky. All right. Really? Come on, give me my grenade. I can't see that doing any damage. Ooh, that one did. Wow. <laughs> uh, eat this. Come on. It's actually, um, works quite nicely, doesn't it? So is it running away? Returning to its original location, maybe? I don't mind. 
And it can't actually get me, which is brilliant. There's a leather wing there, just keeping an eye on that. Nearly got one hit. It's faster than using a carbine, but um, it's just as uh, interesting as a carbine fight. If I camera up, it looks a little bit funny, doesn't it? Show. It's nice. <laughs> yes, cranky man. Should just call it cranky pants. It's so easy to miss it with the grenades too. Ooh, that one went well. Good hit that one. Nice. What are we doing? Oh, heaps of grenades. So glad that I made like 700 of them. <laughs> Not knowing how many I would need. You stay away. Yeah, it looks like you've got to try and land the grenade essentially on its back. And the splash damage then hits the heads, I'm guessing. Hi. What have we got left? Flame and ice. Alright. At least the uh, more dangerous ones are dealt with. This should be the last one. Oh. Hey, double kill. Fire suits on. Artifact key obtained. Let's go down and get the mythos. Can't access the inventory. Hey, Mythos, come on, give me. Well, total utter overkill with the amount of grenades that I need. Now, what sort of hide does this thing give? Oh, get some marrow. Nice. Don't want to overload myself too much here, though. Oh, done. That was a bit surprising. Would have thought it would last a lot longer than that. And we need some stamina. Harvesting cost stamina. Croc down there. Wouldn't it be nasty if you just defeated the Hydra? And a, a lowly croc or something kills you. Alright, Power Stone is next. Oh, 
Here we go. First things first. I don't want to ditch all this stuff. Munitions away. Done. Resources done. Uh, I want the marrow can go. Oh, need to take something out. Uh, take that out. Put that in. Berries can come out. Actually, we've got tons of meat in there. Don't need that. Berries can stay in there. Orange injection. No, I've got limes. Berries are out. Turn it back in. Done. Uh, yeah. Get rid of that. Alright, I won't need any of this stuff now. Don't want climbing, don't want gun, don't want a hatchet. Do want that, I do want that. Actually, no, don't wear that now. My cactus still covered in armor too. So we've got to get back over there. I possibly could come through the other side. Let's go and have a look. I've got two hours on the clock on the artifact. Well, we have, I've got 20 odd minutes left on the stream. I want to get the power stone done. So washed out with the uh, slight haze. Okay. So the, the cave should be about there somewhere, right? Does that mean that I can get through from this side? Could always climb over and have a look. Because the fire elemental was there guarding the uh, entrance to the other side. Oh, well, speaking of fire elementals, hello up there. Okay. Oh, I just I don't know which route to take here. Boom, boom, boom. We go straight through there. Right there. I feel like I might have to go around the other way. I reckon it'll be easier. Come on. Don't crash on the bloody point. I feel like that will get there too, really. Track those oars. Alright, let's just do it. No second guessing myself. It looks far enough away. I can hear you, bikes. Run, run, run. Fall into a rock. That looked really weird. Uh oh.
Right. Are we safe now? Okay. I don't really go again. There we go. Whew. All right. Yeah, it's. I think it's that we. Come on, render in. No, not gonna render in. Pretty sure it's that way anyway. A little bit more height. Where is it? I'm there. That's a croc. Hmm. A leather wing over there. I don't have my gun, so that's not going to help. I can't see the. Uh... It's usually like a little circle marker to tell you that you're in the right spot. Just like that. That's a far more impressive cave than anywhere else. Okay, get that back on. Death run about to be achieved. Here we go. Can't see anything in the way. There's bats over there, but that should be fine. Stay here while the pop-up comes up. Done. And then we run. Oh, that was not where I wanted to go. That's fine. Oh, the lag is choppy. Made it and survived. Didn't die this time. 
Uh-oh. That was not meant to be. Well, the question is, what am I losing? I am losing a glider suit and a climbing pick. So, no. We'll just get it done. Come back here, Gorgon. Let me punch you. Done. Now we can uh, spawn back on the boat. Done. All right. A little bit less painless than the uh, last one. A little green icon achieved. So we have now cleared D8. Uh, where are the rest of them? One there, one there. Uh, ships, grid. You can't turn. And you need some way of actually turning off the uh, the stuff on the screen. Um, all right. Well, I think that's done for there. Central waters. That one's complete. That one's complete. Uh, Eastern and Western shouldn't have any on them. Portugal won't have any. Africa. We got Power Stone Seven. Another one over there, Power Stone 8. This one we've just done. North Pole, there's one. And Antarctica, there's one. Still got plenty to go. But we're four in out of nine. Ah, Alright. Well, that will have to do for the stream, really. Uh, a little bit early, but that's fine. Um... I said, actually achieved what I set out to do. Finally killed another Hydra in a much easier fashion. Uh, and I'm actually tempted to stay here. Uh, I might choose a better spot to park. Um, and then uh, kill the Hydra here again. And then do another, do the, the fast sailing from here. Because the Hydra is definitely easier to kill than the, the Dragon. Hello Ligyaru. You actually just caught the tail end of the stream. Um, yeah. What to do? It seems like a safe enough place as any to stay parked, but oh, that's right, there's a fast decay here. I don't want to stay here. Alright. I'll go for the next 12 minutes up until 10.30, which I plan to do anyway. And we'll get this thing back to base um, seven oh, I don't have it on me down we go we want you why is there food in there and that and that Uh, this is the day that I stream at the moment uh, because I work a nine to five job uh, with kids and stuff at home. I do a one stream on a Monday night, which is pretty much now. Where's that going? There. Now I do hope to ramp that up, but that'll actually come down to uh, time. The more time I get, and I guess the more successful my channel is, uh, the more I will stream. But at the moment, I will be doing Monday nights. Well, this is Monday night for me now. And then uh, probably Thursday nights, if all goes well. My wife will be doing her gym dance classes on a Thursday night. And if that really takes off, then I will have that night for streaming as well. Right, there's 10 minutes left on the stream at the moment. And I just actually just finished um, taking out the, the Hydra here. I spent an hour and a half just finding the Hydra. And uh, yeah, in the last 20 minutes, I've just basically killed the Hydra, 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> Why is there a... What button do I have? And so... Read... Island info... Anyway. Yeah, I've got the... I can't remember how to turn that off. You can see the red arrows, basically. And we want to go somewhat northeast, I believe. Yeah, that's probably not too bad. We'll stick with that angle. Uh, you watched the whole thing, learned a lot. As in the stream tonight, or the um, the Hydra fight that I did uh, the video for. The one where um, I struggled to actually kill it. What's going on? Close sails. I don't like being in the... Uh, Fog. I want to work out how to turn this off. E there we go. Got rid of it. Alright, let's just get out of here. Uh, this is official PVE. Yes. I don't play PvP at this point in time. I, if I ever get time, probably if I ever retired from my job, where I could actually sit down and actually play for several hours at a go, I'd probably try the PvP side of this. Okay. Thanks, Ricardo. But yeah, the, uh, the video that I just put up was... Um, I struggled to get the Hydra to stay aggressive. And kiting it down to the beach was an absolute pain. Whereas, uh, just now, killing the Hydra with grenades was very simple. It was a lot faster than killing it with a carbine. I just have to hope I don't run into a ship of the dam here until the fog clears. If I cop a hit from a ship of the damned, this thing will sink. It's the problem with having the new broadsider. They're, um, yeah, until you get a lot of resistance on them, they're prone to sinking. Right, now, while we're sailing back, turn that off, put that back on. Nice, and there's a trade wind here. That's going in the right direction too. Nice. That'll give us a good amount of speed. Trade win, nice. That means I can't steer. Come on, rowing modules, do your work. I'm gonna overshoot.
Alright, what's going on with this trade wind? Must be some kind of desync on me again. Right, hopefully, 9th of March, nine days away. Hopefully, we get a good patch which uh, we get some updates to the ships. Now, there's meant to be some Xbox fixes, and I'm looking forward to the modular ships getting a little bit of work. And I guess the patch after that, we might actually see a bit more of an overhaul of the modular ships, which is also what I'm waiting for. They've said that they want to do it, just got to wait for it now. without having to tack. And it's raining. Whoa! <laughs> Popping a wheelie. the uh, flying ship again. Again, remove that one. All right, now it's just a waiting game and dodging ships of the damned get back to home base. Oh, look at that one. peaceful now anyway. You haven't done the power stones? Okay. Um, well it's kind of uh, the PvE content for the game. Um, there's a number of things to do and it's all around, you actually look at it in... Yeah, well, I guess you basically you just go to the Atlas and here you have your quest log and this will have various things that you can actually do. Uh, the main thing is the Voyage of Power. 
you need to visit the nine power stone islands and complete the power stone challenge. Just change my sails here. So that after you do your power stones, you can go and fight the Kraken. Um, yeah. And once you fall, I will be doing that one soon, hopefully. I've still got to do five more power stones. But once I've got all of the nine power stones, I can open up the portal to go fight the Kraken. And I'll get the other guys on at that point. Well, you know, they can try and join me here too to do the power stones. But, um, yeah, we'll fight the Kraken. Uh, we probably won't do the version two of the Kraken. Uh, the power stones can be soloed, as I've just basically done now myself. But um, I guess the the version one uh, Kraken can also be soloed. It's not that simple. It's actually a lot easier if you have at least one other person with you, because you need someone to help repair the ship while you're fighting the uh, Kraken itself. And then after that, you have the Journey of the Gods. And in each one of the deep sea trenches, there is the essence of power. And once you've unlocked each of the essence of power, because you actually, once you complete the Kraken, you'll get a submarine. You then go down and do all the essence of powers, and that will allow you to fight the version 2 Kraken, which is um, a harder version, and that will complete off the journey of the gods. Um, one that I've never done is called Into the Ice. I tried to do that one, but I couldn't do that solo. Uh, but yeah, there is a, an ice dungeon, and it is extremely hard. You need a good group to basically go in to be able to survive that. Other than that, there's a whole bunch of other quests, which is things like um, doing your diving for high-level treasures, um, killing a very high-level ship of the damned, uh, finding the ghost ship, killing whales. So you need to basically find a monstrous blue whale, a uh, monstrous sperm whale, uh, the giant squid. So in the desert regions, there's a giant squid. Yeah, I haven't found that level 16 quality this time. Master Cartographer, so you want to discover as many zones as you want. And acquire 25% of the discovery points. And so for every island that you unlock, you get a discovery point. Some islands have other discoveries. So things like the Power Stones actually have multiple discoveries on them. It's so just by doing the power stones themselves, and that actually ties in with your character. And so I can actually get a higher level now, actually, which is good. But yeah, you start off with a maximum level of 77, and you need to do discoveries to unlock higher levels, up to a maximum level of 110, I think it is. So yeah, there is a purpose to some of this stuff. And you get d different dances, different skins. That's not good. That's... Oh, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Gotta get it. Come on, turn. Galleon, if it shoots at me, it will just rip this thing to pieces. I've got virtually no resistance on it at all. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, yeah. whether they revamp this, the new developers that are doing all the stuff. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they add or change to that. I know that they've publicly stated that they want to work on just the PvP game for now, but hopefully they'll find time to uh, improve the PvE side as well. Because good PvE content is something that um, PvP players can actually fight over, and so it can actually be good for both. Level. Nice. Resistance. Got to get that to about 300. I uh, just re-downloaded after a year and a half. Okay. Only played single player with about 200 hours. Don't remember getting started being so hard. Is that due to patches you think? Um, are you still playing single player? Because they did change the, um, they did change the start items. And the, the single player map 
you don't spawn on the um, Freeport. You actually spawn on a random island in B8 or D8, I can't remember. But yeah, single player map's a little bit bugged. But yeah, I played for about four or five hundred hours on single player before I jumped onto the servers. I actually ran through and did the whole lot, um, all the way up to the Kraken. I accidentally hit a setting too, which meant that all the stuff that I did was um, a bit silly. Uh, it was the structure resistance. Oh, can't see anything. No ships out there. No cyclones. Uh, but yes, uh, the I accidentally hit structure resistance, so I was taking almost no damage in the Kraken fight, which kind of rendered the whole thing pointless. I defeated it, but I didn't really defeat it in the true sense because I wasn't taking any damage. Um, but yeah, the single player map, it defaults to map B8, or grid B8 for some reason, as your spawn point when you start. And it's not actually the free port, it's just some random island. It's not terrible, I guess. But yeah, uh, on the single player, uh, if you haven't got the single player settings tick box checked, you'll be playing the official rule set, which might be why it's difficult. If you have the single player tick box ticked, then health, is, health and stuff is scaled for the creatures, I think, as well as all the timers for breeding and all that are really, really fast. It's a lot easier. The other thing that you can do in single player is make sure that you boost your character's weight. Because there's, yeah, being single player, you don't want to spend all your time having to cart back and forth. You just bump your weight stat all the way up. And that way you don't have to uh, spend all your time walking places. Come on, fog. Uh, I believe there is. So the single player map is the one uh, prior to this one, and it was called the Trade Wind map. I'll uh, pull it up in a sec. Get this thing back to base. There's base over there. Which side of the island did I have to get to? Actually, I should have it exported. Um, map editor exports. That's the official map with portals. Don't want that. I'm not gonna hit that point, am I? Oh, looks like I am. Whoa, scraping.
big lag as I come in on our base. Speed up a little bit, get in there. Have to spend some time turning that around. But that will do for now. So, we'll find what I was talking about. I mean, you can actually use a command called give FOW in single player. It'll actually give you the fog of war as one of the cheats. Um, which was it? That one. I don't actually mind having the Fog of War in single player. It gives you a good idea of where you've been. If we load the project, trade wind map. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to pick a water tile. The trade winds don't look very nice here. Uh, but you, you want to show the server info. You would be on B8, which is this one here. Is that, um, I, I assume that's what you have. If you actually have the Freeport, you'll have those four islands. If it's not that map, I think it's that map. And you can basically see these sweeping things here are actually the trade winds, which you should have. If you don't, you could always export the map again and actually uh, put them in. Anyway, yeah. Um, this is the map editor, so this is what they actually utilize to create their maps. And I've been working on it a little bit. I haven't gone too crazy. Uh, open. So yeah, the original map, which was a 15 by 15, it was huge. Done. Alright. Just haven't explored enough. Yeah, fair enough. You know, you've got to start off somehow. So, after you've been to those um, beginning islands, you because they don't have metal in the free ports, it makes it difficult. And that's probably why... A lot of people struggle these days because they don't want people in official living on the freeport and so you don't have metal which makes it difficult for you to build that little starter shack in single player and um, make your own boat and all that sort of stuff the idea is that you get a few levels just run around kill a few chickens until you get a few levels um, farm up the necessary materials to go to the ship vendor you buy a sloop or whatever else and then get to the next grid once you're on the next grid you'll have access to all the resources all the metals and all the rest of it and then things get a hell of a lot easier yeah. it's because they disabled metal in the free ports um, I think they actually disabled some buildings as well I think they, I think they actually removed building completely from the free ports I think but yeah they made a huge changes there and so yeah the free ports are very limited so yeah, I would just after you've got a few levels, you'll be able to get to the point where you can make something like a hatchet and a pick. That way you can harvest the necessary resources to go to the ship vendor and um, buy a small vessel. Then you get off the free port into an actual grid where you get all the resources and things become a lot, lot easier. And if you've got the single player setting ticked, you obviously then go and find your first team first creature that you can get you should be able to get it fairly quickly and then uh, yeah actually what was my taming rates I think I think I boosted my taming rate either five times up to ten times but the breeding itself was actually quite quick hmm oh was it I can't remember now I have got a video on the breeding and taming settings and it was comparing single player versus official I did that a long, long time ago. Anyway, all I'm doing at the moment is just parking the ship, and that will be the end of the stream. 
first island you hit in C8 had a free port also, but had metal. Interesting. Didn't think there was a free port. Trade wind map. Show server info. It's an unset region, so it's a nothing region, it's not even laws. Interesting. You said C8, didn't you? The discoveries here are a bit off. They should actually be on there, for example. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that then. Maybe I could load into my own single player and check it out for myself. I'll do that another time. Thanks everyone for uh, watching the stream and I'm sure that uh, if you're around next Monday I'll catch you for another stream otherwise I will be chopping up what I did tonight into a video a short video showing off the Kraken not the Kraken uh, showing off how the Hydra was killed by grenades and again a quick uh, jaunt into a power stone cave and how the, the glider is actually very very effective at just power running through to the uh, power stone and getting it done quick all right, no worries. Thanks, Ricardo. Thanks, the viewer. Anyone else that's watching the stream lurking in the uh, the shadows, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.